Beloved, May 25th, 2019, the word of the Lord came to me saying, the accurate touch is not given. Those who should be the standard bearers are bringing the light to the surface little by little with fear to a world that is sentenced to death. They are making them waver in front of the line of fire. After the living testimony that will impact the world, the evidence will be given. The tables of the testimony will be seen as a confirmation of the testimony already given. But this evidence will no longer have an effect for salvation for those that it was not convincing. The testimony, this first, will be their last opportunity for the beings condemned to death so that they obtain their salvation by accepting and reflecting this testimony in themselves. No one who leaves this process and finality on a side will be able to receive the eternal inheritance. Every human being will have to decide for their salvation. But it is not only to decide, but to go through the process of acceptance. And this will only be done through a constant humiliation and self-denial before a, it is written and follow to this, even despite of his own life. There is no one, not one, who can be known to be saved without having reflected the character of God even while in this world. Do not be deceived. The mocker, problematic, accuser, liar, spiteful, the one who seeks argument and the scoffer, the one who speaks behind his brother's back, bad testimony, will not inherit eternal life. No people, my times and my feasts, my calendar. Or do you not know that all my movements are in these times? How can you forget this? Are you not Bereans, archaeologists? Whoever hinders this will be accused before God and guilty of judgment. Woe Jerusalem! Woe Judah! Woe Israel! How could you forget my sayings, my decrees, and my statutes? Is my voice a suggestion? To your ears, as I live, that not a jot nor a tattle will pass because all this is for salvation. Repent and return to the old paths because if not, I will bring great calamity upon you. Because by bribery and haughtiness of spirit, you do not heed the sayings of the eternal. Because in the darkness is planned the destruction of my people and live the confusion unresolved. Why are you like Thomas? That when they see, they believe. But by faith, you do not activate. As I live, that no one who does not act by faith will be given an eternal inheritance. My eye will not forgive arrogance or haughtiness of spirit. Do you not know the times when summer and winter come? Because the truth was withheld and fought against it to you who was entrusted with great light. I declare this against you today, scarcity, disgrace, and great mortality. Your flesh will be thrown among the wicked because your haughtiness did not allow you to recognize the day of your visitation and you rejected the voice and the supplication of the Holy One of Israel. Depart, my people, and do not touch the unclean, so that you also do not perish in this great anguish. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. At that moment, beloved, I did not receive any more word from the Lord. May God grant that each one of us can be one of those who tell the truth, no matter the consequences, so that we can be accepted in Christ Jesus and above all, that we live it, that we reflect it in our lives, and that we ask the Lord of the harvest to let him put his Holy Spirit, his character in us, so that we can impact a world that perishes and we can go soon to Canaan. May the Lord bless you all.